Welcome to our first Metacognition Monday, an introduction to dual coding. Today's session is the introductory part about why pictures are the key to success. Recently, I have been conducting some research on how you learn. I have been looking at your notes, surveying you and your teachers, and one of the key things that this research has shown is that we are not utilising a full range of metacognitive strategies to support your learning. Remember that metacognition is the science of how the brain functions and how we can exploit this to ensure that we learn most effectively. When looking through your notes and surveying your teachers, one of the key aspects of metacognition that we aren't using effectively is dual coding. But what is dual coding and why should we use it? In its simplest form, dual coding is a method of combining words and pictures in order to facilitate effective learning. So why is it effective? According to Pavio's theory, there are two streams of information that feed into our working memory, verbal and visual. These are two separate channels, but they can work in tandem with each other. Verbal information is processed in the working memory sequentially, and this requires a lot of effort. Visual information, on the other hand, is processed by the working memory synchronously, which means that details and links can be made and processed at the same time. This means a lot less effort for your brain. Remember that in order to achieve deeper learning, we need to get information from our working memory into our long-term memory. Once it's in there, we can use it to help us with a whole range of new problems. When visual and verbal information is strongly connected, it is known as dual coding. Essentially, a double layer of memory which greatly aids our abilities to transfer it into our long-term memory and its later retrieval when needed. I'm wondering if you're still feeling a bit sceptical, so I want you to have a go at two activities on the next couple of slides. You have two minutes to complete both activities. I'll leave a pause in between so you'll know when to stop. Time's up. Now's a good time to pause and just reflect on how that activity went. How difficult was it? How easy was it? Which methods did you use to help you understand the information? Did you even manage to complete it in two minutes? You have two minutes to complete this activity.
Your two minutes is up, but before we go through the answers, please take another couple of minutes just to reflect on how that activity went in comparison to the first one. Hopefully you will have seen a difference between the difficulty of exercise one and exercise two. Exercise one is what is known as computationally inefficient because you were having to process information sequentially, whereas exercise two was computationally efficient because your working memory was able to utilize visuals synchronously to be able to process information more easily. In order to ensure that we are using dual coding strategies to enhance our learning, Mondays will now be assigned to teaching you new ways of recording and learning information in a dual coded format. As an incentive for you to use these techniques, if you can show me an example of where they have been used in a lesson or in your notes, you'll be entered into a prize draw for a prize every other Monday.